Yeah, I'm out on another quick uh, Jewfish uh, mission this afternoon. Yeah, really overcast and big storms have sort of like roared through, but uh, really like wind from the northwest now. It's really nice and um, probably an hour, or maybe an hour towards the bottom of the tide. Got to fish for three or four hours tonight, you know. So uh, <clears throat> got some nice uh, liveys um, outside, um, right out wide off the back of Big Ben there. They were really thick. So um, yeah, that was really good. So um, yeah, man, like. Um, when you're a hardcore jeweler, bro, this is all you need. I never take any backup bait, man. All I do is I just carry my, like, uh, my bait jig. I always carry, yeah, like uh, a wonder wobbler. So I just use a wonder wobbler all the time just for um, the catch and tail. It's the most awesome, epic, like, uh, tailor catcher. And, uh, yeah, I just... Uh, cut one of the barbs off and crush the barbs down. I just use two barbs uh, so I can get them off uh, a bit easier. Yeah, but uh, yeah, old school bro. Yeah, no backup bait. You know, like, yeah, bait jigs, wonder wobbler. Yeah, and you've got to be able to catch your bait. It's a really good, uh, you know, lesson um, in relation to catching bait because, yeah, it just makes you a really, really good bait catcher. And if you're going to be a Jew fisherman, um, yeah, you've got to be really good at uh, catching live bait. Uh, you've got to be able to catch it outside in uh, different various locations and um, you've got to be able to actually uh, catch tailor uh, in the harbour, you know, in um, all different sort of uh, spots. So, uh, yeah, live bait um, equals jewfish. So, yeah, so... So, uh, hopefully, yeah, I'll, um, I'll get a jew today. Yeah, like, um, I'm just fishing old school man with an eclectic range of rods I've had for years and years and years. I'm just using, um, you know, all overheads and, uh, yeah, I'm just using 30 pound mono and uh, when I'm using yellowtail, I'm just using circle looks and I just bridle rig them with a um, cable tie in front of the nose and they swim really nice into the uh, into the tide and they seem to last a long time because, uh, you know, lately they've been really big, um, big low tides and um, the tide's been running really hard so, uh, they spun around the other way, they'll die pretty quick, but um, <clears throat> yeah, the Jew, it's funny, you know, like, um, man, you, you'll hit Jew, you know, when the tide's running flat out, you know, like, uh, yeah, you'll hit him. Anytime you've got a live yet, man, you've got a chance of hitting the Jew. Doesn't matter whether the tide's, like, boring in the river, doesn't matter really whether you're um, an, an hour before the top of the tide, on the turn of the tide, the first hour or two of the run in, you know, like, uh, they're sort of like a weird fish, you know, like, um, yeah, I've hit him, you know, like, with the tide, um, yeah, like two hours before low tide and the tide like roar and I've hit them um, almost right on, on slack and uh, I've hit them like that. I've hit them in the first half hour of the run in. So um, they're just a weird fish, you know. What you got to do is just get your live. You just come to your spot you're going to fish and um, just put them out, man, and um, and just fish. And um, yeah, you got a good shot of shot of um, taking a Jew, you know. The cool thing about Jewing is, yeah, you, you know, you just you never know what you're going to catch. You know, a 50 centimetre Jew all the way up to a 40 kilo, uh, you know, 40 kilo Jew, you know, like in uh, Newcastle Harbour. Even though it gets pressured really hardly by the pro fishermen and, um, you know, a lot of recreational anglers are, um, you know, targeting Jew fish, you know. It's a lot of guys dream fish, you know, like, um, <clears throat> yeah, Newcastle Harbour still fishes, um, still fishes pretty good, man, you know, like, um, if you put the time in and put the effort in, you still got a um, shot at taking some um, fish on a regular basis, so. Yeah, that's what I'm doing until April. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll um, I'd like to get a couple of you today. That'd be really nice, you know, so uh, see what happens. Fish. Slammy really hard. Melting up against the uh, current.
So I want to get into the boat too, Gray. Just here. Him on that circle hook. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby, that's what it's all about, eh? Jew fishing, man. It's a nice fish. Oh, 85.90, I reckon. Yeah, good condition, man. He absolutely slammed me on that yellowtail. So, yeah. Jew fishing, bro. Ooh, 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 yeah, man, absolutely. Who doesn't love Jew fishing, you know? Like, uh, yeah, so let's get him on the brag, mate. Get him back in. Yeah, baby. Yeah, he's sliding around a bit in the brag, mate, but uh Yeah man, I'm gonna call him a 91. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can get him swimming up right. Beautiful colours, like purple. Oh yeah, baby, epic fish. Yeah, swum him a little bit for about, you know, a minute. And uh, yeah, come to really strong, let him go and just boof, play out straight back down. So nothing better than catching a Jew and, um, you know, releasing them. It's the ultimate in uh, Jew fishing. That fish was so, such a beautiful fish, you know, like really purple down the back and uh, yeah. Alright, I'm stoked. Let's get another one. <laughs> 